and bless the home. It is the custom to, to bless homes as one enters into a home. And after an incredible tra tragedy such as this, they asked me to accompany them and, and be with them as they entered into the home. You know, so many people have been watching this coverage and, and, and just the, you know, the word I keep hearing over and over again is monster evil. Um, in your experience, does that sort of feeling remain in a home before you enter it? Is that what you're doing? Blessing it and, and, and moving those uh, so-called spirits out? In a sense, it's it's to remind people that, you know, uh, a home is, is, is a home. And what gives the home life is the family. And today was about remembering the memories of the family that lived there. So it was nothing about the occurrences of what happened, the tragedy of this past week, but the memories that remain in there and the belongings they began to gather and to remember the moments that they celebrated as a family together. Father Gary Graff, you'll be officiating the, ser uh, the services. By the way, what do you say to the family to give them any kind of comfort when six people have been murdered? I think, you know, we obviously have not been talking at all about uh, the death and, and how it occurred, not knowing any of those details, but but to know that, that God has the final word and that they are at peace and that it's about bringing peace to a family who has lost such a tremendous it's a tremendous loss in their lives, and so many families in our parish identify with them because it's it's one of our families. It's like any other family, and to be there at these moments is is what the church is all about, and and people of faith do. And, Father Gary Graff, thank you so much for joining us here uh, in front of the home where the family is inside right now, recovering the belongings of their loved ones. Again, police now telling us that there was some screaming and loud noise, possibly gunfire Tuesday night between 8 and 9. Uh, the victims weren't found until Thursday, and the killer or killers used three separate type of cutting instruments or knives to kill their victims, and that they do believe that they were in there for a long time, for several hours, committing this horrific crime on these victims. Reporting live from Gage Park, the 5700 block of South California, Anita Padilla, Fox 32 News, back to you.